everybody. Today we're going to be using those beautiful tomatoes that we have at the farm right now and we are going to make a fresh salsa. I'm going to show you two ways to make this salsa. The first way is basically just dicing everything up. Uh, the second way is with a food processor. But let's make sure we have our supplies. So you're going to need maybe four or five um, kind of medium sized tomatoes or if you're using those cherry tomatoes from the farm that blue basket is about two cups that you would need as well. I have that. I'm going to need one lime. I'm going to need some garlic cloves, um, jalapeno or if you don't want it too spicy some of Farmer Sean's peppers are not as spicy as a jalapeno. I got a nice bunch of cilantro and probably this is more than I need and if you want you can use a red onion or you can use scallions for the onion part of this recipe. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that all of your tomatoes have been washed. After they've been washed we're just going to basically cut them. I'm going to core them which means I'm going to take this little center part out. If any of your tomatoes have, uh, you know, blemishes, maybe some bruises that maybe you don't like as much, you can take those out as well. Cut these. And then I'll just keep chopping away. All right, as you can see, those tomatoes have all been diced. So that means chopped into little pieces. If you were using um, those cherry tomatoes from the farm, you really just have to quarter them. So cut them into four pieces and you're ready to go. Now that I have my tomatoes done, I'm gonna continue by cutting my other ingredients. So I'm gonna take my jalapeno and I don't like my salsa too, too spicy. And what makes um, these peppers really spicy is that center part and those seeds. So I'm going to remove those seeds. If you're one of these people that likes really, really spicy stuff, um, you could leave them in. The one thing I am gonna mention though, since I'm touching these, I'm gonna definitely wash my hands afterwards because they will, not that they're gonna burn my hands, but if I then take my hands and I touch um, something on my face or rub my eyes, I'm going to feel it. So I'm also going to dice up my jalapeno. I cut it into little strips and then dice as it cuts into little tiny pieces. Okay, I'm going to add that to my bowl for my salsa. The next thing I'm going to take is my cilantro. Like I said, you know, a decent size handful of cilantro. And I like to actually take that cilantro, kind of fold it on itself. I kind of folded it into this little package and then I just cut through, which is actually going to dice it into smaller pieces by cutting, uh, rolling it up into that little bit. So when I'm done, I probably have about quarter cup of cilantro. If you're not a huge cilantro fan, certainly go ahead and use less. So the next thing is the garlic. And the garlic that we have at the Urban Farm right now is really, really big. Um, so I think in my recipe it called for two cloves. You could probably get away with just one because this garlic is massive. Um, you could take this clove of garlic and just like we've done before with the knife, cut it up into tiny, tiny little pieces. But I also have a tool, and maybe your parents have this tool. It's called a garlic press, a garlic, and it minces the garlic. So I take my clove of garlic, I stick it in, and I press, and you'll see the garlic comes out. So I like to use my garlic press uh, for doing that. 
And the next thing we're gonna need is a little bit of onion. Like I said, you could use those scallions uh, from the farm or a red onion. And we don't need a lot of onion. Um, onion has a pretty strong uh, flavor. So if we put too much onion in there, our salsa is gonna be really, really oniony. And I like to taste more of the tomatoes. So I'm gonna chop about this much red onion into it. So like I said, if you're doing the scallions, it's about uh, two scallions. You use the green part, the white part, and red onion. I'm maybe doing a quarter cup, if that. Maybe a little less. And once again, chopping it up into the little pieces. It smells so good right now. I'm gonna add my onion into my bowl. And now all that's left is basically some seasoning for our salsa. Salsa is such an easy thing. And there's so many different varieties you can make and different flavors. Um, you know, you can get mango and put mango in there. So now I'm gonna need the juice of one lime. I'm gonna cut my lime in half and you might have a different type of juicer than this. This is what I have. I basically press and press again. And I'm gonna show you. So here's what it looks like right now. I'm gonna mix it together. I'm gonna add a little salt to it. Just a little pinch here, okay? And I'm gonna mix it around. And this makes a very chunky salsa. And I'll show you what I mean. Look at it, okay? You can see it has those big pieces in there. So it is kind of like a chunky salsa, but delicious nonetheless. So that's one way to make a salsa just by cutting it. Now we're gonna use the food processor. So my chunky salsa that I need, I am going to put that in like a little Rubbermaid um, container. I'll stick it in the fridge, let those flavors kind of mingle for a little while, and in a few hours, um, it'll taste really good. When you go to taste it, if you think it needs a little more salt, um, go right ahead and enjoy it with those tortilla chips. Now, if your parents have a food processor or a blender, you can also make, or even like a Nutribullet is good too, you could also make salsa using that. And instead of it being chunky, it's going to be a, a much thinner um, salsa, more like the one you might find at like a, a Mexican restaurant. So same thing, take all those tomatoes, um, core them, right? We're gonna cut them in half and take the cores out. And the first thing I'll need to do is I wanna take my garlic and my onion and kind of chop them up first in the food processor because they're the hardest um, bits and they're gonna take a little longer to process. So I'm just going to put it a little bit of time. Okay? And it basically cuts them into smaller pieces. Then I'm going to add my, uh, you know what, let's put the pepper in next. So once again with the pepper, I'm going to remove that center that has, you know, a lot of the spiciness in it with those seeds and those ribs um, those are also a little spicy only because you know my kids they don't like spicy salsa as much i'm now going to put my tomatoes on top i've had this cuisinart food processor for basically 20 years like since i've been married and it is a champ in the kitchen and then the other thing i'm going to add is my cilantro. I like cilantro, so I don't mind adding a bunch. Put that on top. And let's give this one a whirl. You'll automatically see everything kind of breaking down. And we just have to add our lime juice and a little bit of salt. So I'll take my lime. Squeeze my lime juice right in there. Oh man, cannot wait to have this. 
lime, a little bit of salt, extra salt. Okay. okay. Give it one more whirl. And it's done. So this salsa, and I'm gonna try to show it to you without, let me move my camera. Move my camera down. So definitely a lot thinner, more liquidy, um, but that is gonna be a delicious salsa for our chips as well. So I'll go get my taste testers, I'll be right back. So I brought my daughter Audrey, and we're going to try the two salsas. We have our chunky salsa, and the one I made with the food processor. So dig in, Audrey. Okay, try that one. Now, I gave you guys blue tortilla chips. Um, obviously, I don't have those here today. But the blue tortilla chips actually have a little more antioxidants in them. They taste just the same, although you can have a little taste test and see if you notice a difference. Um, but blue and purple colors in fruits and vegetables are high in antioxidants. So a little extra nutrition boost. All right, what do you think? You I like, like them both. You like them both? Mm -hmm. Do they taste different? There's more texture. This one you can taste more of each thing in there. Oh. And this one's just all blended all together. All blended together. That's true. Yeah, and like if you take a bite that has too much onion, it might be a little more oniony. So, so anyway, enjoy making salsa, and I can't wait to hear all about it. And thanks again for joining us for Farm to Chef, and thanks again for supporting Grow at Green Morristown. We appreciate it. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.